क्लास टेन इंग्लिश हैप्पी डे स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द लेसन द सर्मन एट बनारस ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेसन टू इनेबल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव स्पिरिचुअल आउटलुक टू इनेबल देम एक्सप्रेस देमसेल्व इन ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट लैंग्वेज टू इनेबल द लर्नर्स extrapolate from the given text to sensitize the students to the fact that death is the ultimate truth in the world to enable them use new words and phrases in their own language to help them know that nothing is permanent everything is subject to decay all human beings are mortals and mortals are bound to die they help them know the fact that grieving on the death of a relative brings nothing it only invites physical pain introduction the sermon at banaras throws light upon the early life of lord buddha who was originally born as a prince in the royal family on being exposed to the sufferings of the world which he was earlier shielded from he left his princehood and went in search of salvation thus leaving all the worldly pleasures behind upon attaining spiritual awakening he gave his first sermon in the city of banaras hereby making a lady named kisa gautami realizes that men are mortal and a wise person should not grieve at what is bound to happen for it only enhances pain and suffering lesson at a glance Sermon is a religious talk delivered by a prophet or saint. Here we have the journey of Gautam Buddha from princehood to his saintly life. He left the palace at the age of 25 after seeing the sufferings of the world to seek enlightenment. He wandered for 7 years here and there and under a peepal tree of Bodh Gaya at Bodh Gaya he got it. His first sermon was delivered at Banaras as it was considered to be the holiest place because of the river Ganges. He thinks that he who seeks peace should draw out the arrow of lamentation, complaint and grief. He who has drawn out the arrow has become composed and will obtain peace of mind. he who has overcome all such circumstances will be free from sorrow and be blessed kisa gautami was grieving over the death of her son she moved from door to door at last came to buddha she made him a humble request to make her son alive buddha said he would do but he asked a handful of mustard seeds he further commanded it must be taken from a house where no one had lost a child husband parent or a friend she went from house to house but was unable to find one where nobody had died she was tired and hopeless and sat down at the wayside watching the light of the city as they flickered up and she realized that these lives flicker up for some time and are extinguished again this way she was taught that the lives of mortals in the world are troubled and brief and there is no means by which one can avoid death as all earthen vessels made by the potter are being broken so is the life of mortals death is inevitable new words just have a look at the slide procure weary immortal kinsman afflicted thank you